All right. Another year, another January. I'm going to make this yearly tradition. Um, if you saw my last Instagram post, um, the end of December, you know I'm going to try and make this a tradition. My whole collection. I want to show it off every year to see what I've gotten rid of, what I've collected, what's cool. Because I think I have a pretty neat collection for... I mean, I was going to say how small it is, but it's not its not that small. So, uh, first things first. Um, there are two... There are two guns. No, there are three guns that are missing from this lot that I should have. Um, I have a... A bolt-action sniper that was in last year's collection video. Um, it's green. It's a VSR-10 clone, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> um, I don't know where it is, so I left it out. Um, the second is a WE gas blowback M14, the one that's really expensive that nobody likes. Um because it's in a million pieces right now, because I'm, I've taken it apart and haven't had the time to really put it together and get all the parts for it, so. That's two, and number three is the Wild Card Revolver, which was also in the last video. Um, the Elite Force Wild Card, it's just a little single action revolver. Those are the only three that are not in this, that should be. The revolver I lent out to a friend, one I can't find, and the other one's in a million pieces. Alright, we're gonna start us here with the handguns. The small ones, the ones that aren't the rifles and stuff. So, with the revolvers here, these are two of my favorite guns that I have. Because I just like old western stuff. The Elite Force Smoke Wagon. And this other brand one that's essentially the Elite Force Smoke Wagon, but with a different finish. It also takes different shells, but it's essentially the same gun. I keep those just for them. Okay. <clears throat> Elite Force 1911. Still here. All, all these pistols, except for, I think, those two. Or from the last, oh, and that one. Um, Elite Force 1911. It's an Elite Force 1911. Walter PPQ. PPQ? That's right? Yeah, PPQ. Um, this thing I want out of an open box thing. It's old and beaten up and kind of grimy to operate, but uh, it's reliable and it works. So, cool. Six hour M17? Yeah. <clears throat> this is just a cool gun. Also won this out of a mystery box. So, yeah. the Terran Tactical Combat Master. The John Wick 3 pistol. I actually really like this thing. I hate high cathas, but man, this one is something else. I bought two Desert Eagles. They're the WE Full Auto CO2 ones. Sometimes they're, there it goes. Um, I bought two of them. This one I've beat up a whole bunch. This one I've tried not to use to keep it, you know, to look cool. Um, this one, you can see the, there's a big dent right on the front. The button is now gray. So yeah, this one I mess with, this one I keep, I try and keep clean. Uh, and here is whatever this is, King Arms. It's a 1911 with gold accenting. I'm just gonna keep it in here because it actually is, it's like, it's got a nice finish to it. A flared magwell. Um, it's not compatible with those, with the Elite Force 1911 mags, even though it's CO2, which kind of sucks, but like, it's real nice. Yeah, I try and keep the, this one in its box, try and keep it, you know, 
place nicer. And that does it for for my pistols in it. Well, technically, but you'll see. If you know, you know. Now we're gonna pass our buddy Ralph here um, to this section of fun. This, again, something to try and keep in the box because it's nice, um, even though I mess with it a whole lot. My 1887. Y'all know what an 1887 is. Y'all have played Call of Duty or have seen Terminator 2. It's the s and shell ejecting one. It's cool. It's neat. It's going over here now. Uh, this is my lever action from last year. CO2 shell ejecting takes the same shells as the smoke wagon. Um, this is my newer one. It's got a clean finish instead of a worn finish. It's got real wood and it's real sturdy compared to that one. This one's kind of like the barrel kind of flexes a little. It's hard to see, but this one is sturdy for now. Obviously the barrels I know will loosen up over time, but the action is a lot sturdier. It just feels it's heavier. Um, this one I got off Evike. Um, I saw that it wasn't the saddle gun. I don't like the really big loop on the longer rifles. So I, I saw this and immediately had to get it. So I did. Up here, I have one of my newest to the collection. This is the, I think it's made by APS. Um, oh, this is a shorty. It ejects shells. It's, uh, it's fun. I got this exclusively because it's fun. Yeah, it's, it's just fun. I mess with this all the time. It's just always near me. Um, next we have the, uh, I think it's WE made it, it's a gas blowback Thompson. This thing is very pretty, it's got a very pretty gunmetal gray finish. It's got faux wood, but I mean it looks good enough to me, so. It's gas blowback too, I like gas things as a lot of these are and all of these so big thumbs up to me this is still my my baby my probably my favorite airsoft gun i've ever owned the ump gas blowback i don't know it, it's just so it's so light it all of the settings work on it the two round burst is like awesome it feels nice Reminds me of playing old Call of Duty, you know? I mean, that's exclu almost exclusively why I bought it and the 1887 at the same time. So, UMP. Um, more SMGs. My MP5K that I've had for a couple of years now. I still haven't put it back together. You can see it's missing the the trigger and the selector because it doesn't have anything in it. Uh, this, however, does. This is supposed to be the Swordfish from Evike. It's got, supposed to have a big muzzle brake and I took the stock off. The stock just can come off and on. But yeah, um, I didn't like how it looked. So I took it apart and made it like a little tiny package MP5. <clears throat> I'm up to this here. This is something neat I got. Um, I don't actually know what this, I mean, battle, it says battle X on it, it's Lancer Tactical, yeah. It's a pistol AR. Um, it's actually a pretty sweet little gun. It's light and it's compact. Um, over to these. The, the piece de resistance to this channel, my Halo ARs. Version 1, 2, and 3, I guess. Um, even though these two are essentially identical. Um, 
the roots here, version one. It doesn't have a pistol in it right now, it's hollow, but that's where it started. Um, you can actually sort of see the green finish after all this time. I mean, I've, I painted this almost three years ago, like two and a half years ago or something like that. Um, this one, I did a much better job finishing. Um, this still has the, the same pistol that I had in the version one in that video so many years ago, even though it was like two and a half. And then the gold one, I bought a new pistol. Uh, you can see it right there. I bought a new pistol just for that, and then made it gold, like the essentially like the Black Ops 1 camo, where it's just bright gold and black. Gold isn't as shiny as I wanted it to be, but it's good enough. Now we're going to get to the AR section. First I gotta talk a second about this guy. This is a cheap $80 M416. Um, I bought this probably like uh, probably eight years ago, maybe nine years ago. Um, and then I, I traded it around with my friends and whatnot, and eventually it made its way back to me. This is, it's old, it's cheap plastic. This is the original mag that came with it though, which is really cool that I still have that. Uh, you can see the bottom rail broke off there. You can see where I tried to scratch out the warning information because it was in bright white text. You can see if I open that up how dirty and rusted that is. This thing still works. It's kind of a surprise. But yeah, this has been through the works, this one. Um, and for another cheap gun, right behind that, look at this thing. This is something you could probably get in one of those like $40 pistol rifle combos. I don't know, it just kind of sucks. It doesn't take regular M4 mags. This one does. It takes its own weird clear plastic proprietary looking ones. I don't know, it just sucks. But I have it because it's super light. And can see I took off the back sight there. So you can have that big opening. <clears throat> Um, I don't know, it's just fun to hold. That's why I have it around still. <laughs> Alright, to the rest of the rifles. VFC Scar. It's a VFC Scar H. I've had it for a while. FNF 2000. Um, not the G&G &G one. It's made by Umarex or something. I don't know. It was like $200 less than the G&G &G one, so that's why I bought it. Almost exclusively, that's why I bought it. Um, this is F2000. It's fun to hold. It's actually really comfortable to hold, in my opinion. Um, I just like it overall. Next we have this. This is my newest Mystery Box M4 out of a line of Mystery Box M4s. Um, um, the only reason that I actually like kept this M4 is because it's longer than the rest of them were. Uh, it's full metal, 100% metal, except for pistol grip, stock, mag. But I thought it was funny to put a an angled grip on the 45 there. It's kind of funny. Um, this is a classic army. This is an Arcturus. See it right, right there. Um, I tried to make it look like a space gun. Change the stock, mini, VN mag, scope, weird grip funny muzzle brake. Um, I, I didn't really accomplish it making making it look like a space gun yet. Some sort of Star Wars looking gun is sort of what I'm going for but it's I don't know I need like eight more attachments to put on there. <laughs> Next we have the RM4 the Ronin M4. It's something I've had for quite a few years now. Um, it has all my bread and butter attachments, my evike side I've had for a million years. This King Arms grip I have literally had for a decade. My classic magazine that I've had for a while. 
it's just my regular M4. I like it. I like it. Um, this one is super light because it's all polymer except for the handguard. This is full metal, but it's not as heavy as that one. That one's fuller metal. I think that's what it's called. This is an, another Classic Army M4 that I hate. Um, I think I made an Instagram post about it a million years ago. Um, I paid a, a decent amount of money for a mystery box. And this was worth like, I don't know, $40, $50 less than the mystery box. So I got kind of screwed out of there. So now that's going to be turned into something else. Because I hate it and don't want to see it anymore. But uh, maybe I'll get back to that later. Maybe, maybe you'll see that later this year. Um, M249 saw the featherweight version because I don't have that much money to drop on a full full weight version yet. Um, and I got this a couple years ago, so it's cool. I finally got a box mag for it. I don't think that was in the last video, but you know, it's a saw. Um, I got a grenade launcher. Yeah. That's about all I could say about it. I got a grenade launcher. I, I wanted it because it looks cool, but I haven't put it on any of my stuff yet, so... You know, indecisive me decided... Not yet. Um, <clears throat> here's my Mosin. Here's my Mosin. Um, it's by Windgun, it's CO2, it's great, it's got the little bayonet on the side, yeah, fun, and last, but certainly not least, the biggest thing that I have, the Barrett from Snow Wolf, the Barrett M82L long because the short barrels like that one the long ones like that one um i've had this for i want to say five years now maybe six um for those of you who don't know the story i took the bipod off because it broke literally the day after i got it so so i took it off but thing is still a hulking beast it's still the heaviest airsoft gun that i have i mean it's huge like like compared to any of these it's i mean it's the mother of all if if you want to prove you got a big airsoft collection, you got to have a big gun, and that's my big gun. So, overall, Ralph. Um, this is my whole airsoft collection, minus those three guns I set up front. Um, again, I want to make this sort of a yearly tradition to just, you know, see what kind of crazy stuff I've done over the years. Um, and what I've had and what I've had. not So... Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of work. Now I gotta move it all back to my room and put it all back where it was. Yeah, it's gonna take me a minute. Anyway, you'll probably see a, a, at least one more video for this next year. I can guarantee at least one more. It'll probably have something to do with that guy. Um. As long I have a couple other plans, I don't know if I'll be able to, you know, finish them all or not. But but that's one that's definitely on my list. So stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you next time. Mac, do you have anything to say about this? Mac, what up?